so excited to be here. This room is insane. This is one of the best rooms in Punta Cana. This is the junior suite with a private pool and it's part of Excellence Club. I'm gonna get things started, I think, at one of the most private, exclusive, and premium portions of the property. I'm gonna get things started at the exclusive Excellence Club pool. So my building is right here, and then the Excellence Club pool is right behind me. Uh, I have to say that there are welcome experiences, and then there are welcome experiences. I was so happy to finally get a welcome drink at Live Aqua, and that's because it was the first time I was offered one this entire trip. I like the welcome drink experience. It's unique, it's craft, it's just a little something extra to kind of add some class to your stay. Uh, and then I got to hear the finest, and I realized that they do things just so elite. I was immediately met with champagne. And then they realized I was a VIP, and they whisked me down to Excellence club for my own private VIP check-in and they didn't have a welcome drink down there they had a welcome bar and you could ask for anything you want they brought me out a Sammy Sosa with a little lime green floater on top I've never seen that before it was amazing If that was just the Excellence Club pool, then I cannot wait to see what the general pool is like here at Finest. That Excellence Club pool could have been a standalone pool at a lot of the all-inclusives I've been to in the past. It had a little bit of everything. It had a little bit of a lazy river component to it. Uh, there was seating around the perimeter. There was even seating on the interior, which I don't see a lot. There was a walk-up bar on the outside. There was a swim-up bar on the inside and it was really close to the beach. There is a lot to like about the Excellence Club pool here at Finest, and I cannot wait to see what the general pool is like either tomorrow or the next day. I started my morning where I finished my night last night, and that is at the coffee shop. I needed a pick-me-up after that huge dinner last night. Uh, there are three signature drinks at the coffee shop, and I will have all of them before I leave. That is a fact and a promise. Last night I had the Rocher chocolate one. Uh, it was a double espresso and delicious, and it's exactly what I needed. Uh, and then this morning I woke up and I had the peanut butter Vienna, which was even better. I threw a couple of pastries on top for good measure, and right now I have a sugar buzz that is probably not even legal. Uh, today is gonna be a big day, I'm quite excited. I'm gonna hit the beach, maybe another pool, but before that, I'm gonna keep this momentum of gluttony going. I'm headed to the breakfast buffet. Starting my morning with flamingo time here at Finest Punta Cana. If you saw my excellence video, you know that I searched long and hard for those flamingos. I searched hours for them, and when I finally found them, they did nothing. Uh, it's a little bit of a different story here at Finest. They are quite easy to find, and when you do find them, they are a bit more active. Uh, they just kind of stick to this moat that is right outside the Excellence Club buildings. And you can actually come out here and feed them if you like, and that's what I've been doing. Now, I don't think they actually eat the bread that's in the bread box. I think the goal is to throw the bread in the water, and then the little minnows and fish come to the surface and eat the bread, and I believe the flamingos actually eat the minnows. I think that's how the ecosystem works. I just had the best breakfast buffet on this trip. It is the food quality and the freshness that really stands out. That was an awesome experience. And then last night, I had the best steak I've had at any Putacana all-inclusive ever. It's in a league of its own. It's in its own strata. Nothing else even comes close. All other steaks will be judged on this steak moving forward. I mean, where else could you get a tomahawk that is not an extra charge. It was just included on the menu, and it's the closest thing to a prime steak I've had in Punta Cana. It is right there. It was cooked perfectly, it was delicious, it was served Peter Luger style. It was an unbelievable experience.
there's a lot to like here at the beach at Finest Puticata. It is long. It's got a nice wide stretch of sand. Uh, the adults only section is peaceful. I was like the only person there. I pretty much had the entire Excellence Club beach to myself. The water is a great temperature. It's that lovely color of teal. The only problem is that it's seaweed everywhere, which I did not expect for Finest. Now I'm told that this beach was perfect a couple days ago and all this washed up within a matter of a day or two. And I'm also told that their tractor is broken, which is why it's still on the beach. Okay, your tractor breaks, your tractor breaks, but where's your backup tractor? I'm only here for a couple days. And when I came here, this place is littered with seaweed. So that's really disappointing. I know that they're working on it. I know they're cleaning it up, but still, it doesn't take away from the fact that on my beach day, it is a complete eyesore. I know. So it looks like my comments about the Excellence Club pool being good enough to be a standard pool were completely accurate and prophetic because the standard pool here is almost identical to the Excellence Club pool. Uh, the only difference is that the standard pool here has a trampoline jumpy thing in the middle of it. Now, if I did not have Excellence Club, I would be extremely disappointed in the pool scene here at Finest for two reasons. First of all, the main pool is almost an exact replica of the Excellence Club pool. That is really disappointing. And then also, the main pool with that jumpy trampoline thing is where all the kids were hanging out. It's pretty much the kids' pool. I think the kids' pool should be separate from the main pool. There should be two different experiences, but they are combined here at Finest. I did find a second general pool later in the afternoon. I thought its layout was really goofy. It's definitely more private and quiet than what was going on at the main pool. Unfortunately, that is where I would be hanging out if I did not have Excellence Club here at Finest. La Petite was very much a French experience. It was a small venue. Uh, it had both understated and overstated luxury. The atmosphere was a little stiff. The portions were extremely small. The food was good. And I left hungry wanting more. So it was very much a French experience. Last night I was gonna do a second dinner, but I cannot start that habit. I just cannot do two dinners in one night. That is not good for anybody. So I wisely went to the gym instead. There is loads of cardio equipment, lots of different machines. There's even a separate plyo olympic weightlifting area it is spacious and modern and clean luxurious upscale is an awesome experience and then after that i finished my night again at the coffee shop i had to get that third specialty latte and then today i'm going to start with breakfast over at gusto gusto is over at the finest club finest is the family version of excellence club you can upgrade to it i don't see a lot of point in it because the finest club pool is extremely small and underwhelming and the beach section looks to be identical to the general section. So I personally don't see the point, but uh, I do know that there is a Finest Club restaurant. It's called Gusto and it's open for dinner and for breakfast. I thought for sure I'd go gaga over that croque madame. I thought that'd be my favorite thing for breakfast, but no, that Dominican breakfast was awesome. Now it's not even on the menu. I just asked if they had anything special, if they could do something special, that's all I asked. And then they brought out the Dominican breakfast and that is the thing they get. That really kind of made my morning. That was super cool. Uh, right now I'm headed to the lobby. So I'm gonna get some change and then I'm gonna go down to the lobby bar. I haven't spent much time there. It looks like a really beautiful area to hang out. And then after that, I'm probably gonna check out the beach. I'm really interested to see if that seaweed is cleaned up.
the lobby's gorgeous. I can't wait to see what it's going to be like tonight on a Friday night. What is the lobby scene going to be like and what is Finest going to be like in general? We're going to find that out. Uh, we're going to find out very quickly what is going on at that beach. Is it still going to be a travesty or did they clean it up in 24 hours? Let's go find out. That was impressive. They cleaned up all that seaweed within 24 hours. I didn't think they could do it. They did it. That's what makes excellence and finest one of the best in Putacana. So I had a great beach day today. Uh, definitely a step in the right direction compared to yesterday. I'm gonna try to keep this momentum going. I'm gonna do something extremely special for lunch. I had really big plans for lunch today. I was gonna come back to the room and order five or 10 things off the room service menu. But unfortunately, I was hard pressed to find four things that captivated me. Two of those four were just simple standard items like a cheeseburger and a pizza. So really, uh, only two items intrigued me. Now, thankfully, those are the two best items that I had today. But I remember the room service over at Excellence Putacana being better than this. The menu over there is wider and the food quality is definitely an improvement upon what I had today for lunch. Uh, for room service at a Putacana all-inclusive, my lunch today was above average, I guess, but for excellence finest, it is a little lackluster. So that was probably my favorite meal of this entire trip. Never saw that coming, uh, especially after walking into the place. I never thought I'd hear myself saying that was my favorite meal, but sometimes in life, travel, and all-inclusive hotels, you just never know what's going to happen. Shoji is an example of that. I'll probably touch on it more later in the morning, but I need to keep momentum of this evening moving forward if I'm going to finish it. So I'm off to the lobby bar and then the late night lounge. Shoji was my favorite place to eat at here, which is interesting because it wasn't the best meal overall, nor was it the most luxurious place to be, but it somehow was my favorite. I just felt very comfortable there. It was very appropriately decorated. It was surprisingly authentic. I loved the decor. The food was astonishingly fresh, and I liked the menu. It was creative. And then after that, I went to the lobby bar, and I'm really happy I went to the lobby bar at 9 p.m. because if I would've went two hours later at 11 p.m., I would've had the place to myself which I did, and I did. This place was extremely quiet for a Friday night, and there were three weddings here. Without the weddings, this place would have been a complete ghost town. After that, I went to Taboo Lounge just to check it out. It is nothing like its pictures. It looks way better online than it does in person. I really wasn't expecting much. It's just a small little nightclub lounge at a family all-inclusive, but I do like the fact there was an alternative place to hang out late at night besides the lobby bar. That brings me to right now, it's my last morning here. I need to wrap up this video, but before that, I'm thinking something special. I am thinking a triple breakfast.
Uh, Domo is where it's at. That's where I originally ate my first night and had the tomahawk. I finished there for breakfast. It is the adults only excellence club option here at Finest. And I had no idea an omelet could be so out of this world. It was amazing. So that is definitely a place to eat at. Uh, let me wrap up this video. Three negatives, three positives, and then I'm gonna tell you what I think about Finest Punta Cana. Uh, the first one is the location. I am not the biggest fan of the Uvero Alto region. It is about 30 minutes north of the heartbeat of the city, which is Barbaro. Uh, it is a little isolated. It is boring. There's absolutely nothing to do outside of the resort. Next is the restaurants. Uh, now the food here for an all-inclusive is really good. And for an excellence property, it is pretty good. But I did find a lot of overlap in the restaurants, both in the concepts and in the menus. And lastly would be personality or lack thereof. Now you're not gonna find any energy at Excellence Properties, but you should know that going into it. But it doesn't mean they can't have a personality. This hotel just doesn't have an identity yet. It doesn't have any character. There is no heartbeat at all. Maybe down the road, uh, after a year, two or three, it will develop some individualism. But as of right now, the hotel does feel synthetic and artificial. So those are the things that really stick out to me in terms of the negatives. What about the positives? There is a lot to like about this property. This property is pretty amazing. Uh, the first one is the service. There's really nothing like the service at an excellence hotel or a finest hotel or a beloved hotel. Uh, everyone here is your personal butler. That's why they have no butlers. You can pretty much find any staff member, tell them what you need, and they will do their best to deliver it to you immediately and exceptionally. Number two is Excellence Club. The adults only section here is done very well. It is a priority. Uh, a lot of times it could be an afterthought at these mixed hotels where it's half families and then half adults only. Excellence Club is located at the best part of the property. It has the best stretch of beach, it has the best pool, and it has the best restaurant in Domo. And lastly, this is a different concept. It is a unique experience. It's something that's an alternative to what you typically find at an excellence resort. And I like that. Even though the family hotel thing really isn't right up my alley, I like how Excellence did things differently here at Finest. Those looking to stay within the Excellence ecosystem, but also looking for maybe a different experience, uh, this is gonna be a great option for you. So ultimately, in the end, I'm giving Finest Punta Cana a five, but it is a reluctant five. It's a soft five. It's not an emphatic five by any means. The individual pieces and components of this hotel are great, but they don't come together cohesively. Uh, there just isn't any continuity, and because of the lack of a soul and a heartbeat, I'm not necessarily sure this is a better option than Excellence Punta Cana. It's got the better pool, probably the better stretch of beach, it's more modern, it's edgier, but I'm not sure the experience is better. Again, it's a fantastic hotel, it's one of the best all-inclusives in the Caribbean, but as I leave, I can't help but think how outstanding it is, but at the same time, how I wish I got more from my experience.